The streets of London are paved with shops and no trip to London is complete without your suitcase leaving heavier than when you arrived. So to make sure that you shop till you drop, here is the City Hack London Beginner's Guide to London Shopping. The first stop for any London shopping spree has to be the world famous Oxford Street. Here you will find pretty much any shop the UK High Street has to offer. With so much choice, you can easily spend an entire day on this one street. It is also home to some of the UK's biggest department stores, including Selfridges and John Lewis. Also, you'll want to take a short stroll along the intersecting Regent Street, where you'll find Hamleys, the Apple Store, and my favourite shop in London, Liberty. Once you're done with Liberty's, head out of the back entrance and you will find yourself on Carnaby Street, made famous in the swinging 60s. Carnaby Street has a great mix of well-known brands, independent stores and an array of great eating places to refuel in Kingly Court. Bond Street is where you'll find London's luxury and high-end shops. This again is a short walk from Oxford Street. Shops here include Jimmy Choo, Burberry and Chanel. Covent Garden is an eclectic mix of an old-fashioned London market, trendy attire outfits and home to some great beauty and cosmetic stores including Kiehl's and MAC. If your energy levels begin to drop, head to Monmouth Coffee on Monmouth Street for a caffeine injection. Then make your way to Comic Book and Memorabilia Store Forbidden Planet, a geeky oasis and must-see for Doctor Who and Harry Potter fans. If you've got some serious cash to spend, then head to the absolutely fabulous Knightsbridge, home of the world's famous Harrods and Harvey Nichols, sweetie darling. The two biggest shopping centres in London actually have the same name. But to make sure we don't get confused, those clever people have put them on opposite sides of the city. So in the west of London, you have Westfield Shepherd Bush, and in the east of London, you have Westfield Stratford. These shopping nirvanas are perfect for those oh-so-common London rainy days. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, this one is not in London. But if you're serious about shopping, Bista Village is the place to go. Over 130 boutiques selling clothing and accessories with up to 60% off, including Prada, Vivian Westwood and Coach. The train from London's Marlebone station to Bicester Village station takes 45 minutes and there are two trains every hour. When out and about shopping, look for these logos, where if you are visiting from outside of the EU, you may be able to receive a refund on the value added tax, VAT, of your purchase. Unlike some other countries, the prices advertised in the UK include the tax. To claim this tax back, simply ask for a form when completing your purchase and fill it out before you get to the airport. Once at the airport, make sure you leave a little bit of extra time and then head to the customs desk with your unopened purchase to get your form stamped. Once stamped, you can go to the refund desk to get the VAT refunded to you. For a more detailed description of how this works, check out the link in the description box below. Listen, there is no doubt about it. The best time to buy discounted items in London is during the January sales. But be warned, this is not a secret. There's going to be a lot of people around. Now listen, the January sales start on the 26th of December and run through to the end of January. There are also some sales during the summer and the UK has recently adopted America's Black Friday. For those of you who want to make some early Christmas purchases, Thanks for watching City Hacks London. Now listen, if you like this video, please give it a share. And if you really like us, you can subscribe here and you can social media me as long as you think you can afford it. Now that sounds a bit rude.